Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Great. Great. I'm going to start by taking the attendance because of the time and I, I appreciate your punctuality, okay? So in honor to the punctual people, we're gonna start, okay? Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Cecia Gemima Perez Ideos. Present teacher. De David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present teacher. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present teacher, present. Okay. Mayra Yanira Alfaro Posada. Néstor Ariel Garzona Asencio. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Good, Alba. Okay, I will check you in a red. Uh, Roxana Marilyn Pérez Ortiz. Present. Okay, so let's check in here. Okay, people, let's start. Okay, then everybody, welcome to your class number 17. We are almost, we are near the end of this module, okay? So we are learning tonight how to use would like to. This is a phrase, uh, and yesterday we were saying that this means um, I want, or you want, or she wants, and conjugating this, well, with any pronoun, with any subject, we can use this meaning want, okay? So we are going to learn how to use would like to, would like to. The main goal or the specific goal, goal for tonight is that you will be able to express common tech support problems and how to report them by phone. Okay, we are uh, learning how to answer the phone, how to uh, make a conversation on the phone and uh, how to have a conversation on the phone, how to report a problem uh, related to tech support, but you can adapt it to any kind of problem, okay? To any kind of problem. If you have a problem with your own functions or your own um, roles, then you can use the same uh, vocabulary. So you can use would like to, because this is formal language. This is formal language. Um, and it's very important for us to um, behave polite in our jobs. And the objective for this class is that you will be able to use would like to for requesting politely. And we can use would like to request politely and to offer politely. We can do both request and offers, okay? The agenda for tonight. Okay, we're going to 
have a feedback, <clears throat> identifying and reporting problems. Hmm. It's moved. It's okay. uh, identifying and reporting problems. Then we will practice a conversation. Uh, we are learning how to use would like to and the grammar structures. Um, then we are going to read and comment and comment um, an article about issues and common solutions for those issues. Um, because usually we call tech support, but there are solutions that we can just, um, uh, processes that we can just apply before calling tech support or avoiding calling tech support, right? And then we are having this exercises in our manuals. And the turn tonight uh, for the session one-on-one -on -one is for Pablo. Pablo Alberto, it's your turn tonight for your, for your 10 minutes of fame. <laughs> Para tu, sus 10 minutos de fama, ¿verdad? En donde puede hacer sus consultas, sus, resolver sus dudas. ¿Verdad? Pablo, ya llegó por ahí, Pablo. No se ha conectado todavía. Ok. Pablo. Si Pablo no se conecta, queda libre el espacio y el que quiera participar eh, o hacer, hacerme saber sus consultas, pues puede quedarse y ocupar ese tiempo. Ok. Bien. Recordemos entonces, hagamos un un um, feedback, okay, una revisión de lo que vimos el día de ayer. ¿Qué fue lo que estuvimos estudiando? What was the topic yesterday? What was the topic? ¿Cuál fue el tema? What was the topic yesterday? Tech support. Okay, tech support is the whole unit topic. And yesterday we were studying about ways to report a problem. That was our topic. Ways to report a problem. Do you remember what is the way to report a problem? Do you remember? Uh, for call and write email. Okay, yes, we can adapt this vocabulary by phone, having a conversation, right? A call by phone, or maybe you can report a problem via email. You can report a problem um, through a DM, right? By Twitter, it depends on the way or the channels that they have uh, opened for these contacts. So yes, we do that. And we use formal language, formal language, formal language. ¿Qué decíamos entonces? ¿Cuál era la frase que utilizamos para decir I want? ¿Cómo se dice I want en un lenguaje formal, educado y muy amable, muy polite? Mm -hmm. I would like to. Excellent. I would like to, y decimos, report a problem. Ok, porque eso es lo que estamos aprendiendo, aprendiendo a reportar problemas, ¿verdad? Pero también eh, lo podemos adaptar en cualquier otra situación, lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero eh, recordando, 
Para reportar un problema, usamos lenguaje formal diciendo, I'd like to report a problem. No se les olvide esta frase. Esta frase es eh, muy útil, muy útil. Entonces, decimos, I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Could you please open your mics and say, say this phrase? I'd like to report a problem. Thank you, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Guys? I'd like to report a problem. Okay. I'd like to report a, pro a problem. Okay. Grecia. Luz. I like to report a problem. Okay. Bien, ahí tenemos que tener un gran cuidado porque si solo se oye I like, así I like, estoy diciendo una cosa muy diferente. Tiene que sonar esa D. Por eso ayer estuvimos practicando cómo pronunciar esa D y que se escuche. Porque nosotros en nuestro idioma no pronunciamos la D de la misma manera que se pronuncia en inglés. Entonces, si yo digo, I like to report a problem, estoy diciendo, me gusta reportar problemas, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que sonar, I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Si no, decimos una cosa distinta, ¿verdad? Tengamos ese cuidado, por favor. Bien, vamos a ver acá nada más, ¿verdad? Dos cosas importantes. ¿Qué problemas, qué problemas eh, conocemos hasta este momento que pueden ser relacionados a tech support? A ver, ¿qué vimos en la clase pasada? The internet is very slow. Correct. The internet is running very slow. Okay. It's running, it's running. Mm -hmm. very slow. Very good. Mm -hmm. Is there any other? I have no internet access. Excellent. I have no internet access. Good. Mm -hmm. The computer frozen. Oh, yes. The computer uh, got frozen. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Teacher, how do you say uh, la línea telefónica se ha caído? Uh, there, um, there is no, uh, uh, ahí me poncho. A ver, um, the phone. ¿Cómo conecta la línea telefónica? No sé. Sí. Okay. I cannot connect a call. I can't connect a call. I can't connect a call. Oh, the call doesn't connect, right? The call doesn't connect or the phone is not working. The phone is not working. Um, yeah. Or the line was cut off, right? The line was cut off, cortaron la línea, right? Dependiendo así como cuál más se adecue. <laughs> Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, people. Now, 
we're going to see right here, just remembering the problems. Later, we are going to come back, okay? Later, we are going to come back to the slides, but at the moment, we are going to <clears throat> go to the manuals. And the manual, you will find in page 39, a list, a list of some common problems that are reported to take support. These are reasons to call tech support. But we want to check which ones do you think are the most common, okay? Which one, which ones of these problems on the list are the most common? Okay, let's see. Which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support? We have to check, okay? Check which one of these ones do you think are the most common reasons to call tech support? And after, here it says that we have to talk to colleagues and compare the tables, but we're going to do it together, okay? We are going to do it together. So we are going just to, um, as a manner of feedback, okay? Veamos entonces qué problemas tenemos aquí en esta lista. What problems do we have in this list? Who wants to read them? Who wants to read the problems? ¿Quién quiere leerlos? Who wants to read them? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, please, Ceci. New software, no internet access, a virus, delete files, paper stop in printer, USB ports out of order, funny notes in the CPU, frozen screen. Okay, good, good. So which one of these problems do you think, um, which one of these do you think is the most common? What will be number one? ¿Cuál sería así como el más, más, eh, por el que más, más se llama a tech support? No internet access. Okay, so let's say no internet access will be the first one, right? Okay, what else do you think? What do you think about a virus in a company? A virus in a company? No, right, because they have antivirus. They, they have antivirus like a barrier where um, are protected, right? The systems in a company are protected with antivirus. So it's not so common unless on this that you um, brought this device from any other place, right? But usually no, right? Usually no, it's not the virus. What about deleted files? What do you think about deleted files? Mm -hmm. New software, maybe? Okay, new software. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paper stack and printer, do you have that problem in your companies? Do you call tech support for paper stack and printer? Do you call tech support for um, when the uh, printer is out of toner? Not yes. usually. Do you? 
Do you? Yes, I do. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, so that's another problem that we could uh, say, even though it is not a problem, right? It could be like just a situation or um, a normal thing, right? It's like a normal, a routine activity, right? So let's see, what other? What do you think about the USB ports out of order? USB ports out of order. What do you think? Do you call tech support for the USB ports out of order? Usually I don't, usually I don't. Maybe I, do, I call more because of the software, right? And for the internet access, right? Then any other, what about frozen screen? What do you think about the frozen screen? Do you call tech support? Ustedes lo hacen en su compañía? What do you do if you uh, have a frozen screen? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes normalmente hacen cuando tienen una pantalla congelada? Uh -huh. Reset, yeah. Reset, yes, it's the solution, right? It's the, the um, handy Así solution. <laughs> yeah, right. Imagine that everything is frozen, then you just go and uh, reset, just pushing the, the on off button, right? So, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to see the next page. Let me erase it drawings. Uh, and the next page, page 40, okay, in page 40, we have the ways to report a problem. Do you remember these ways? Um, and they are, I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with, okay, veamos entonces, ¿qué era lo importante de notar en estas um, Oraciones. Que es importante decir a problem, an issue. Pero trouble no lleva ningún artículo porque no es contable. Remember? I have trouble. We are not going to say I have a trouble. Okay? Okay, people. So let's see the common, common issues to report. It does not seem to work. Si lo contractamos, sería como la que dijo eh, Robert, ¿verdad? En la conversación. It doesn't seem to work. Eh, el otro podría ser, it makes a strange, funny noise. Okay? It does not turn on. Lo podemos contractar y sería, it doesn't turn on. Okay? Veamos entonces cuáles son los issues más comunes, los, las situaciones más comunes que ustedes tienen en su trabajo, que ustedes normalmente reportan, ¿ok? Que ustedes reportan a Tech Support to have a solution. Ok, so it says, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Write down the most common problems you have with uh, the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your classmate, uh, well, in this case, that you, and we are going to do it together, have in common in the middle section. Okay, then we are going to write a list over here. We are going to write a list over here, and then we are going to write the common over here. Okay, so let's do it. A ver. As if you want to report a problem, okay? What problems do you have? What are the common issues that you report? A ver, um, Daisy. Uh, don't access uh, internet. Okay, no internet access, good. 
Okay. Nestor, what are the common issues you have in your workplace that you report to tech support? You're muted. You're muted. This it is hard disk teacher. I have problem with a hard disk. Mm -hmm. uh, for memory or why? El disco, disco duro. Yes. Uh, how can I say? It's um. Uh, está lleno de, de ya. Ya no tiene más espacio y hay que cambiarle. Okay, then no storage, right? No yes, yeah, okay, storage. yes, yes. No storage. Okay. On hard disk. Hard disk. Okay. No space to, to storage. Okay. Yes. You yes. want to expand the memory. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's see, Alba. What are the common issues you have in your workplace? Uh, uh, VPN use, uses, uses, creo que es la. La users, uh, users, um, like this? No, sí, the uses, creo que, no, other, other word. Mm. Like this? Um, you no. see? <laughs> uh -huh. No. It... Okay. Uh, let me Google it. I will Google it to have an idea what you mean. Okay, the team is I S S U E S. Again, I U I S S U E S. VPN issues. <laughs> okay, VPN issues, issue. Issue is the travel. Okay, VPN issues. Good, good. Thank you. Okay, there you are. Yo creí que eh, lo que decía después era como algo relacionado a lo del VPN. Mira, pero no, era issues. Okay, guys. Uh, what are the common issues you have in your workplace, Linda? ¿Cómo? What are? the common issues you have in your workplace that you usually report to tech support with any equi uh, equipment? Lo que yo reporto. Yes. Uh, disconnect VPN. Disc, like this? Disconnect. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, so VPN disconnected, like this? Yes, yes. Okay, disconnected. Okay, great. Good. So what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Um, Patty? For example, teacher, a report, uh, no access, uh, to system SIP, usually. To the internal, internal yes. system, okay. Yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. No access. And um, do they, oh, have you detected which are the most common reasons to have this no access? Uh, uh, my case is is IP is IP 
stop. Oh, okay. It depends on the device. The device has to be recognized by the system or something like this. Uh, mm, in my case, is for report analysis report. Okay. And sería facturación para Invoicing, invoicing or billing. Yes. Uh huh. Ok, ok, uh, pero si ¿sí han detectado cuál, cuáles son como las razones por las que les sucede que no tiene, tengan acceso? Sí, es, 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 um, por ejemplo, uh, uh, the connection is with Colombia. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, es, es, access, direct access uh -huh. with Colombia. Okay, so the problem is it's like on the server, yeah, on the server. In the server, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay, um, great. Yeah, um, problem with hackers. <laughs> with fact, other factors. Hackers, hackeo. <laughs> oh, hackers. Okay, okay. Yes. Have you ever had uh, hackers attacks? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, well, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, now, Pablo, please, what can you tell us what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Okay, Marilyn, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? No access in the platform. Okay. Um, in my school. Mm -hmm. To school platform, 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 like this. Platform. Plat no, no, it is platform. Platform. Right. Yes. Okay. Platform, like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. No access to school platform. Okay. And what do you have to do when that happens? Marily? Hello? Cuando le sucede eso, ¿qué soluciones le han dado? ¿Qué soluciones han encontrado? Eh... Es como contactar al creador de la plataforma. Eh, oh, okay. O al que diseñó la plataforma. No sé cómo se dice. The... Okay, contact to the programmers. Okay, to the oh, programmers. Okay. Or the designers of the platform. So okay. this, um, they are not in the school, right? They are not from the school. They are external. Are they external? Yes. yes. Externo, oh, okay. de colegio mm, privado, privado, colegio privado. Ok, ok, a private school. Mm -hmm. a, a private school. Ok, yes. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you very much, Marilyn. Uh, so, at this moment, do we see something? Do you see something very common to everyone? Is access, right? Access, do you see? Access. Here, disconnected is access, right? Um, no access to the internal system, it's access, right? No access to school platform, access. That's the most common uh, call, right? That tech support receives. Now, this is what we checked in the list uh, that was in the, in the last page, okay? So yes, it is, access is the first. Um, the first reason to call, right? Tech support. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And now I'm going to send, um, I am going to send a link through 
I'm going to do it through Zoom, okay? Y vamos a ir a leer un artículo acerca de soluciones obvias. Obvious solutions to common issues of tech support or common tech support issues, okay? Lo vamos a hacer en el breakout room, okay? Van a leer con sus compañeros. A ver, una de las cosas es que este, este es un artículo de la web, o sea, es un artículo normal eh, con lenguaje eh, formal, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que pro, eh, estoy procurando acá? Vamos a poner en práctica una, una técnica de lectura, ¿ok? Que se llama skimming, ¿ok? Se llama skimming. Skimming es como... Um, Sacar lo importante, ¿ok? Como sacar lo importante. Not a summary, no es como un resumen. Es como cuando uno va leyendo en español, usted va a solo uno, dos, tres, más o menos que, de qué se trata esto, más o menos de qué esto, más o menos cuál es lo importante de esto. Y luego yo me formo un concepto, ¿right? Yo tengo ya un concepto. Entonces, ese concepto es lo que yo voy a compartir con mi compañero y voy a platicar con mi compañero, ¿ok? Vamos a tomarnos un tiempito para poder hacerlo y que podamos utilizar el vocabulario de los problemas técnicos o tecnológicos y las soluciones a esos problemas, ¿ok? Así que es skimming, no es que van a ir hasta que por palabrita y que por una palabrita se detuvieron, es que a saber qué significa. No, 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 pase la, la palabrita y agarre la idea completa, ¿ok? Sí me doy a entender. No es que se van a, a memorizar, ¿verdad? Todo lo que dice el artículo es largo el artículo, ¿verdad? Entonces hay varios puntos. There are 10. Son 10 eh, problemas. Por lo tanto, son muchas más de 10 soluciones, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a ir a leer eso. ¿Preguntas acerca de lo que vamos a hacer? Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. Entonces, we are going to do a list of issues uh, that we have with our computer. No, you are going to read an article. I am going to send a link. In that article, okay. you will find a list of 10 issues. Okay. And those issues have some solutions. So you are going to talk to your partner about this. You are going to comment, to comment and... Um, there, I, I am giving you three questions, okay? So I will send you everything at this moment. Just give me one second. Let me take okay. this over here. Ahí está el link para que vayan al artículo. Ahora les voy a enviar la actividad descrita. Ok. Ok, les voy a enviar la actividad descrita para que no se me pierdan y no estén pensando es que a saber qué es lo que quiere la teacher. No, está todo escrito, ¿ok? Ya casi está.
Está en español, teacher. No. It is in English. Es que a mí me aparece en español. Lo tiene así programado. Póngase de regreso y ahí en, con el clic uh, derecho y póngale eh, traducir a inglés. Because it is in English. Okay. okay. It is supported, teacher. Yes. Yes. Ya casi está por aquí. Yo les envié las indi indicaciones o la, que, cómo está descrita la actividad. Bien, ahí en el de WhatsApp para que vean la actividad. Veamos entonces qué es lo que vamos a hacer en la actividad. Ahí dice, read the article and comment with your partner about common issues reported to IT in the solutions. Ok, darse cuenta qué es lo que dice y todo eso. Luego hay tres preguntitas abajo. Do you report problems like these to tech support? Ustedes comentan, ¿verdad? Si reportan o no reportan de ese tipo de problemas. How often do you report problems like these to tech support? Y allí es donde se les dice which ones, ¿ok? Uh, ¿Cuáles de esos problemas? Y con qué frecuencia, ¿verdad? Are you having a technological problem right now? ¿Ok? ¿Se comprende lo que vamos a hacer? No quiero que se vayan y que allá digan, es que, ¿qué íbamos a hacer? ¿Dónde mando eso, teacher? Bye. Aquí en el chat les envié el link. Ok. Aquí en el chat de Zoom. Y las indicaciones están en el de... Uh, en el de WhatsApp. Ok. Voy a intentar enviarles a WhatsApp también el link. Por cualquier cosa. Ok. Bien. Teacher, yo no entendí muy bien lo que vamos a hacer. Ahí están las no, indicaciones. Yo no tengo WhatsApp ahorita. La, la tercera indicación. Ok, entonces vamos a ver, lo voy a compartir. Porque sí necesito que cuando lleguen allá en el breakout room no vayan a decir es que no sé qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Ok, vamos a ver. Déjenme ver si sale directo. O oh, no, va a salir el WhatsApp aquí. A ver, hoy sí. Vale. Entonces, para los que no tienen el WhatsApp activado, tómenle el screenshot, ¿ok? Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Read the article and comment with your partner about common issues reported to IT and the solutions. Okay, so you are going to click on this article and you are going to read. ¿Verdad? Para guiarse y para que puedan comentar, okay, tienen estas tres preguntas. Do you report problems like these to tech support? How often do you report problems like these to tech support? Which ones? Are you having a technological problem right now? Ok, estas son tres preguntas que les pueden ayudar en la conversación que van a tener con su compañero, ok, pero que sí las deben de ubicar y contestar, ¿verdad? Ok, ¿ya le dieron el screenshot? Para quitarlo ya. No me dijeron sí o no. Vamos a ver. Hoy sí, vamos a breakout rooms. Tenemos una situación, vamos a ver. Todos están para participar, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok.
¿ok? No van a ser parejas, van a ser grupos, ¿ok? Vamos. Justo ahora, no sé cómo sería. Algo así. Pero vamos en orden, vamos a ubicar la 1. Ok, entonces hay que leer el, 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 uh -huh. la lectura. Primero, ¿no? read the article. Uh -huh. okay. Como son 10, le damos uno, cada uno. Y nos rotamos uh -huh. después. Ok, ok. Dice, leo el primero, está bien. Okay. ok. Dice, I am, I, you need to learn. This AC5 makes sure you haven't, haven't, uh, overlooky, and in, entre paréntesis, no sé cómo se dice, is the caps look okay on purchase. Your powers, your powers, my, my heavy spirit, or your account, my heavy being lucky due to many um, successful login items. This is your IT supporting should be able to reintable any user right or research your password. Habla como de, de que la contraseña no le agarró y estiró, ¿verdad? Algo así. No sé si me equivoco. The password respira. Ajá. Look at the block. Que le bloqueó o algo así. Le bloqueó, ajá, la, 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 la contraseña, porque algo así dice el inicio. Hay un link. Lo es como la entrar, ¿verdad? El acceso. Y va a este, pedir ayuda al equipo de soporte. Para que le sería la uh -huh, su, su contraseña el, para que genere una nueva. Entonces se solicita, tendríamos que hacer la, cómo, cómo hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? O cómo dar a conocer el problema. No, you, you are just reading. You are just reading. Hola. Hello. Hello, how are you doing, girls? You are just Hello. reading. At this moment, you are just reading. Okay. Uh, and number two, high verb cap to draden, blue string of this. Most people will answer their PC is the
Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are Hello. you doing? How's it going? Uh, this moment, uh, read the, the article and later comment with partners and answer the questions. Okay, but read aloud and read and do it together, okay? Do it together. Ah. Practice the vocabulary, speaking, <laughs> right? Yes, you have to pronounce everything, okay? Practice pronunciation, practice, and you are going to enrich the vocabulary if you ask, for example, what this word mean and the other knows, right? So you can share together. Uh, ah, okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. We do it in this moment. Okay, who's beginning? Um, lo hacemos así uno cada cada problema uno así. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, to, to are in the article. I read number one. I okay. unable to log in. This easy fix. Make sure you haven't overlooked anything. Is the caps lock case on purpose? Your powers may have expired or your account may have been locked due to many unsuccessful login attempts. Your IT support team should be able to reinstate any user right or reset your password. Have a question about this, the number one? No, okay. No. Okay, number two, who's reading? Who's read? Comparar. Luego esto. Por ejemplo, I'm I'm unable to log in. Unable to log in. Unable to log in. Yes, de me. Más. Y en ocasión. Uh, my password finished. Um, um, for example, 
Mm. Uh, ver la pantalla. Can mm. you see the... Ahorita no lo estoy viendo. The screen. ¿Ah? No, no lo estoy viendo. No. No. Ok, pero... Ok, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Sí. Mm. Number one problem is I'm unable to log in. Is when expired your password, um, no. No change. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre eso? Uh, number four. I use closing my document without saving. This is a common occurrence and can often send user into panic mode when they accidentally do it. However, as your word is not definitely lost. If you have how to recover options enabled in Microsoft Office, then there are some easy steps to recover. My computer does not recognize my USB device. Christine mm. to care. Does this service work in the different USB or on the machine? Are other devices recognized in that port? Does the device work in another user machine? If you have tried this through blood shocking, medals and the steel no look then your it support. Health decks can process with some more in the person through shopping. Esa palabra sí que está difícil. <laughs> Bueno, eh, yo creo que hoy vamos a identificar, ¿verdad? Trouble, oh, no. trouble shouting. Trouble shouting. ¿Qué tal? ¿Hola? No, vamos, solo leí la palabra. Vamos a identificar, mm -hmm. dice, to your report problem like this, to check support. Los problemas que se reportan al técnico, ¿verdad? Algo así. Según la lectura Encontramos la mayoría Me imagino Sí, que estaba viendo que unas Son como de mantenimiento Sí, ¿verdad? Y de... otras sí son El uh, number one Es eh, El password expiró y okay. se bloqueó. Entonces la ayuda sería la solicitud sería this password bloqueado, no sé cómo se podría poner. Eh. Okay, and the 
the problem too. Mm, I is necessary and the uh, IT support help desk que es como el soporte porque es como que se le pone la pantalla azul, la pantalla de la muerte. Es cuando no le acepta el, el password, ¿verdad? Ah, no, es como cuando la computadora se reinicia, se bloquea el sistema. O, o el, en este caso puede ser el Windows. Uh -huh. Y si es necesario, eh, por ejemplo, ese puede ser problema de hardware, dice, o de los drivers. Number uh -huh. eight. My internet is really slow. If you're connecting wirelessly, then the location may be the problem. The signal is not necessarily strong in all corners of the building. Similarly, you call USB too far away. If this is not the issue, then spyware of viruses are alike because number nine i keep losing access to the wireless network this could be due to an overloader router router call your it support team and explain the problem they may need your to try connected to the network with another device. Number 10, Michael. The expert, so you have to call the, him to, um, that come here to activate again. So every six months we have to, uh, the account finish. Uh, actually, actually. Uh, I'm thinking that we, we were going to, to buy the license. Um, the cost is around
Okay, everyone. Uh, cuando los envié a los break rooms, yo no los quería asustar acerca del vocabulario que hay en el artículo, ¿verdad? Porque realmente lo que estábamos haciendo era una técnica que les expliqué, ¿verdad? De ir tomando las cosas importantes para tomar una idea general. Por eso se llama skimming, como cuando descremamos la leche, ¿ok? Y le sacan eh, y dejan solo lo más light, ¿verdad? Ah, pues eso es lo que acabábamos, lo que acabamos de hacer o lo que iban a hacer ustedes, ¿verdad? Aquí no se trataba de eh, cosas que no hemos visto, ¿ok? Sino que solamente de identificar los problemas e identificar soluciones, ¿ok? I hope you could say these problems and solutions. Ahora, voy a tomar la asistencia y luego vamos a dar el feedback de esta, de esta um, actividad, ¿ok? Just let me take the attendance because of the time. It's 9-11 and I have to take the attendance three times. Please rem remind me uh, at the end of the class to take the attendance. Please do. Alba Janet Lopez Avalos. Present. Okay. Cecia Gemima Perez Ideos. Present. Sí, David Alejandro Choto Martinez. Present, teacher. Delmi Isabel Dera Salguero. Delmi, you there? Daisy Carolina Sánchez Nieto. Present. Grecia Tatiana Rosales Campos. Present. Juan Diego López Palacios. Linda Alicia Valladares Argueta. Present, teacher. Luz Verónica Trujillo de Urbina. Present. Marco Adonai Villeda Alvarado. Present, teacher. Um, Mayra Yanir Alfaro Posada. Present teacher. Uh, Néstor Ariel Garzón Asensio. Present teacher. Pablo Alberto Magaña Molina. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present teacher. Roxana Marilín Pérez Ortiz. Present. Ok, here we go. Now. I'm going to ask yes the three, the three questions. I hope you read the complete article. They were only 10, um, 10, uh, num uh, 10 problems and some solutions. So do you report problems like this, like those you read in the article to take support? Do you report issues like those? Do you report issues? Like those you read in the article? ¿Ustedes reportan ese tipo de problemas? In my case, no, to share. Um, okay. I, I don't have a part of IT support, but I help my partners. Okay, okay. Uh, Nestor, Patty? In my case, yes. Okay, okay Linda? Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you report these pr uh, problems like this to tech support? Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was telling to my classmate uh, that sometimes um, uh, every month, every six months. Every six months. Uh, okay. Uh, the license of uh, Microsoft uh, uh, expire uh, the, the account. Okay. So uh, to to call the engineers, uh, the tech support that we have here in the mayorality, uh, and they activate again uh, the Microsoft uh, because I can write, I can use uh, PowerPoint and everything. Okay. Okay, okay. Come, uh, this happen every six months. Okay. So uh, we are thinking and uh, that we have to buy a license. It's, it's um, that, that 
the price is around seventy dollars. Okay. Uh, uh, for how long? But, but um, uh, you can have you can you can use the account, but uh, until you compute it, uh, it doesn't work. I oh, mean, okay. It's, it's, uh, so it's like for life. Yes. Seventy yes, dollars yes, for life. For life. Yes, it's only yes. one payment. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I think it's worthy if you invest in a license and uh, for your own, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, I think uh, the engineer is is a business. I mean, you call him and he can activate the uh, the Microsoft. Uh, he he have to uh, earn some money. So every six yeah, months he, he has have to activate the computers. Okay. You know? So. Okay. Is that that's why uh, he do that? Okay, he does it. He does it. Okay, yeah. good, good. What about uh, uh, what about you guys? For example, do you have problems logging in? You said before, for example, Patty said that she, uh, sometimes she doesn't have access to the internal system, right? So in those that you were reading, there was one that it says. I'm unable to log in, right? I'm unable to log in, right? So, Fati, I think she had that problem, right? To the internal system. Uh, what about you guys? What about Cecia, Alba, Luz? In my case, no. Uh, you, you don't call tech support, don't you? No. Okay, uh, do you work with technological devices? And no. Okay. In my work, no. Okay, but do you have any kind of um, other equipment that uh, need maintenance, like from the maintenance department? No, I didn't O sea, tienen algún equipo que no sea tecnológico, pero que sea de utilidad para su trabajo, pero que necesite algún tipo de mantenimiento que pueda dar el departamento de mantenimiento. Eh, en mi caso, en mi puesto de trabajo, no. Okay. Sí hay en la empresa, pero en mi puesto de trabajo. So you don't need to call anyone to repair anything. Okay, okay, um, okay, good. Now let's see, Alba, what about you? How often do you call tech support? And for what problems do you call? Um, how often? Um, yo escribí twice a month, I report my computer is running to a slow okay. and keep losing access to the wireless network every two weeks. Okay, okay. And do they go to your um, to your workplace or to, to your work area or they just do it by phone? Ellos van a su oficina or uh, solo by, by por el phone. teléfono? Okay, oh. so they do it remotely. Lo hacen remotamente. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Good. What about you, Daisy? In my case, uh, the issue is unable to log in because uh, I called the IT um, once. Uh, four months. Okay. okay. Uh, not, it's it's not a common issue. Okay, because it expires. Or maybe you forget your password, your last password, and you have to update your password. No, it's for change the password. Oh, okay. So you have to change the password through them, 
Okay, great. What about you, Mayra? Um, never. Never. You don't have to call anyone uh, for technological um, support. No, never. Uh, uh, usually, uh, I can print. Uh, falla, nada más, pero eso se arregla ahí. Okay, the printer. Mm -hmm. The printer or access to internet. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for participating, guys, in this activity. I hope it has been productive. So we're going to the, um, to the manual. There we have an activity. Vamos a hacerla en dos partes. Ahora solo vamos a hablar de los um, devices que ustedes ocupan. Tres devices que ustedes ocupan. Okay. Vamos a ver. Three devices that you use in your workplaces. So let's go please to page 41. Page 41. And let's think because here it says uh, three devices that you use. For example, do you use printers? Uh, Maida said, right, printer. Uh, I'm going to write like this, sorry. Okay, the printer. Mm -hmm. Computer. Okay. Do you use laptops or desktops? Mm, desktop. Okay. So we're gonna say computer. Okay, computer, desktop. Okay. What about another device that you use, guys? Cell phone. Okay, cell phone, good. Yeah, the cell phone. Okay, cell phone. Now, la otra parte de este, de esta actividad es que pensemos tres posibles problemas con cada uno de estos devices que quisiéramos reportar. What um, about with printers? No printer. Printers. Okay. No printing. Teacher. Teacher. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, for the, the, the ink finish. Uh -huh. Okay. Out of, of ink. ink. Okay. okay. Out of ink. Y algunas impresoras no es con ink, ¿verdad? Sino que es con toner, right? So out of toner también puede ser. Okay. 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 What other problem? Um, to call tech support. To call tech support. Um, uh, for example, the server computer with printer, no, no charger. <laughs> uh, like it's not configured? Yes. Yeah. Okay, not uh, configured. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, now what about a computer? What problems can we have with a computer? Um, the virus. Oh, okay, shut down. Okay, shut it. It shuts down. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Okay. Inesperadamente, right? Okay. Okay. Number two problem. Uh, the computer is running too slowly. Okay. Too slow. Sorry, guys. Uh huh. What else? Um. Uh, don't uh, the computer 
doesn't recognize use use B device. Okay. Okay, good. What about a cell phone? What problems can we have with a cell phone? Marco, Cecia, Linda, Daisy? The configuration of the, the mouse. Ah, here in the computer. Okay. Uh, no mouse working. Okay. Good. Uh, we could say, así como dijimos, uh, que la impresora no está configurada, entonces podemos poner así. Mouse not configure. Creo que solo es configured, right? No, configured. Okay, there you go. Okay, what about a cell phone? Reportan cada cosa con ese teacher. <laughs> Can you tell us some, any? The most common? No. Think the oh, internet. No. The internet. <laughs> okay. Uh, configuration so, internet. Oh, okay. Internet connection? Like this? Connection? Yes. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, she said no wireless connection, right? No Why? Sound teacher, the sound. Uh, connection. Oh, what about the sound? No, signal. Signal. No sign. Okay, no signal. Okay, now I understood. Uh, yo escuchaba que no había sonido. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, aquí ya tenemos tres, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir internet connection, pero wireless connection porque es un cell phone, ¿verdad? Uh, no signal. A ver, uno más. With a cell phone. It's turned on. It doesn't. It's really slow. It's slow. On. Okay, okay. Por ejemplo, it doesn't recognize my password, right? It doesn't recognize, recognize my password from my Google account, for example, right? It's a, ver, a, a very big problem. Okay, um, which one did you say, Nestor? I'm sorry. Uh, the internet is really slow. Okay, slowly. internet running slow, okay. Okay, good. So now we know how to identify identify these uh, problems. Now we know about the solutions, right? For example, if it is out of ink or out of toner, we know that we call tech support and they go and change the cartridges, right? And what about it is not configured, uh, then they have to do it from the server maybe, uh, or they give us a link to configure it uh, the, to configure this uh, printer, right? So possible solutions. Así que pensemos para mañana unas posibles soluciones para estos tres devices, problemas con estos tres devices, ¿ok? Y vamos a hacer mañana este otro ejercicio que está abajo, ¿ok? Déjenme cerrar aquí y voy a borrar los dibujitos que serían las letras para que podamos reportar y al mismo tiempo eh, dar la solución a ese problema. Acuérdense que estábamos viendo que después de la, de la conversación dice, let me ask you some questions, ¿sí? Entonces eso lo vamos a dejar para mañana, ¿ok? Ahorita voy a continuar con would like to. And we have this conversation, ¿ok? We have this conversation. It is very important for us to remember that in our jobs, we are not going to talk or use uh, informal language. We need to use formal language. ¿verdad? En nuestros trabajos es muy importante el lenguaje formal. Okay? 
Eh, no estamos aprendiendo slang, no estamos aprendiendo street English, no estamos aprendiendo esos tipos de inglés. Ok, sí es everyday English, but in our jobs. Ok, or in our houses, con mucho respeto, ¿verdad? Ok, then, after that um, a comment, I'm going to read this conversation. Mike and Maria, ok? And it says, uh, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike, this is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's uh, making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Uh, yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light in on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away, okay? Quiero hacerles esta aclaración. Miren al principio como esto es como bastante de confianza. Esto es interno y bastante cercano, ¿verdad? Entonces, la forma de contestar esta llamada, ¿verdad? No es como la que vimos ayer, muy formal, ¿verdad? Es muy formal. Esta es como todos los días contesta lo mismo para los empleados de ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, Mike Hernandez, <coughs> IT Department, short, ¿verdad? Mike Hernandez, IT Department. Y como dice María, no dice todo lo que decíamos allá, ¿verdad? Decimos nada más, hello Mike, porque soy muy respetuosa y le contesto con su nombre. This is María Ochoa from Accounting, ¿ves? No le digo from accounting, de, from the accounting department, ¿ok? Agregándolo formalmente. Sin embargo, sigue siendo formal. I would like to report a problem with my printer. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Veamos acá, aquí está la pregunta. What is the problem? La que aprendimos ayer, Mr. Choa. It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message, a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay. Aquí quiero que notemos dos cosas. The first one, el significado de la primera frase, okay, is I want to report a problem. Okay. Pero luego le dice, I want. Pero ella quiere que esa persona haga algo, ¿verdad? Entonces, fijémonos cómo está escrito esto. I would like to report. Viene un verbo, ¿verdad? Un verbo main verb. Un verbo principal, ¿sí? Pero miren la diferencia con esta otra. En esta dice, yo quiero reportar un problema. Ahora, en esta, ¿cómo dice? I would like you to come soon. I would like, ah, pero el to se pasó después del subject. ¿Sí o no? Entonces, fijémonos en esto. Esto no solo se usa para reportar un problema. Esto se usa en cualquier área de nuestra vida y en cualquier área de nuestro trabajo. Por eso les digo, es adaptable. Ahorita estamos viéndolo referente a cómo reportar un problema, pero miren, aquí dice, I would like you to come soon to check it. Yo quiero que tú, ¿ok? Yo quiero que tú. Miren la diferencia. A ver, si yo quisiera que Daisy um, nos compartiera algo ahorita, ¿ok? Yo le dijera a todos ustedes I would like Daisy to share, okay? I would like Alba to share with us. I would like Marco to, okay? Vemos cómo cambia el orden y cómo cambia el significado, okay? Si se entiende, hay alguna pregunta acerca de eso? Do you have any question about this? ¿Qué es lo que se mueve? El to y antes del to se pone el subject. ¿Por qué? Porque yo quiero que ese subject, que esa persona haga algo. ¿Ok? 
Bien, vamos a leerlo nuevamente. Lo voy a leer nuevamente y luego we role play the conversation. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Okay. Any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Is there any question? Uh, sing, teacher. It doesn't seem, seem to be working. Sim. What do you mean in sim? Sim. Parece que. Uh, it doesn't seem. Uh -huh. Entonces, como está con doesn't seem, ¿verdad? Que no parece estar trabajando. Okay. It doesn't seem. Parece que no está. Aparentemente no está. Okay. Se ve que aparentemente no está. Ok. Ok, Marco. It's clear, teachers. Okay. Thanks. Ok. Now, uh, we want to role play this and we want to listen to David and Cecia, please. Ok. With my name or the. No, only just, with... just rolling. Just, ro uh, I mean, role play. Ok. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Noise. Is there a noise? Is there a message in the control panel? Yes. It says service. Also, there is a red light on the error error button. I would like you to come soon to share it. I see. I'll be there right away. Excellent. Very good. Esta palabra button que dice aquí tiene una pronunciación en donde la O como que se comiera uno la O para pronunciarlo y es una TN así como arrastrada para atrás. Like button, button, ¿ok? Esa es la pronunciación correcta. Uh, error button, button. Everyone, error please. Error button, error yes. button. Yes. Button. 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 Great. Okay, now let's look at what we have and uh, figure it out over here, the activity number three. And it says, complete the sentences below, use the conversation to help yourself. Okay, let's see this. Number one, what's missing here to complete the conversation, the sentence? Wood. Okay, great, wood, wood. Would is an auxiliary verb, okay? It's a modal verb, okay? Would. Entonces sería, a ver, ¿quién me lee esta oración? Who wants to read it? I would like to report this issue. Excellent. Y aquí, ¿qué nos faltaría? Like. I would like. <coughs> like to. Okay. Uh, veamos entonces. Déjenme llegar con el texto. I would like to. Ajá. Pero veamos ahí qué dice. Yo quiero arreglar esto. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yo quiero arreglar esto. Cuando llamamos, le decimos así a la persona. Mire, yo quiero arreglar esto. No, yo quiero que usted arregle esto. ¿Sí? Correcto. You. Exactly. I would like you to fix. Correct. I like you to. Uh -huh. 
I would like you to fix this. Okay. Lo voy a mover un poquito para que se vea. Okay. I would like you to fix this. Entonces, veamos las dos frases otra vez, solo para recordar. I would like to report this issue is yo quiero reportar esta situación. Okay. Ahora, number two, yo quiero que tú arregles esto. Pero siempre es yo quiero, ¿verdad? Siempre es yo quiero. I want. Okay, now let's go to the next page. Because over there we have this would use usage. Okay, how to use, would like to. Page 43, okay. It says, how to use would like to. Si se fijan es entera la, la, la frase, would like to. Use would like to. To say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. Ah, entonces hay dos usos, ¿verdad? Hay un uso de ofrecimiento y hay un uso de requerir o requerimiento, de pedir, ¿verdad? Entonces, offers and requests, but in a very polite manner, okay? In a very polite manner manner. So use would like to to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. Do you want to read the examples for singular, Mayra? These two examples. She would like to send the report tonight. Okay. What about the next one? He's, he's like to meet the new employees tonight. Excellent. Recordemos el sonido de esa de he'd, he'd. He'd like, he'd like to meet the new employees tonight. Okay. Now. He'd like to mm -hmm. meet the new employees tonight. Excellent, Mayra. Now, please. Um, Roxana, please read the plural examples. Roxana, are you there? Okay, guys, who wants to participate with this? Just to read them. Me. Okay, go ahead, please. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you very much, Linda. So, if you mm -hmm. see, podemos usarlo en la forma larga, en la forma normal, ¿verdad? Con las palabras completas o lo podemos usar en forma contractada. Ayer vimos esa conjugación, ¿verdad? Para todos los pronombres es la misma frase. Y después de este to que miran acá, fijémonos qué tipo de verbo va. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal acá? Send. Send. Está en infinitivo, ¿verdad? No está con ing. Ni tiene tampoco la letra S que le ponemos a she y a he en el presente, ¿verdad? Aquí es tal como el infinitivo. She would like to send, ¿ok? To send the reports today. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. They would like to speak to a supervisor. We'd like to ship this container tomorrow. Ok, now. We are going, uh, it's 9.44, okay. Let's imagine that a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. We have to write from four to five requests about that equipment, okay? So, for example, you could say, I would like to 
Ok. Vamos a ver. Number one. Five requests. Estas son um, requests. Ok. Estas son requests. ¿Para qué decíamos que sirve would like to? Para request o para offering politely. ¿Verdad? Requesting or offering politely. Entonces, pidamos algo. For example, I, el primero que tenemos, I'd like to report a problem with uh, the... Veamos uno de los que habíamos dicho, with the printer, ¿ok? With the printer, ¿ok? Ahí ya tenemos una oración, ¿ok? Vamos a otra. Siempre siguiendo con esa printer. Digamos que tiene algo quebrado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'd like to report uh, como para cambiar una para cambiarle la pieza chance. Okay, I'd like to report a uh, así como dice ahí broken piece. Podríamos decir, ¿sí? Broken piece. Ajá. Uh -huh. A broken piece. And obviously I'd like you to come. Este ya sería otra. To change it or replace it. Cuando cambiamos una pieza, eh, ya sea en el vehículo, en cualquier equipo, es replace. Ok. Reemplazar. Ok, guys. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. I'd like you to come to replace it. Uh -huh. What else? Digamos otra. Otra oración haciendo un pedido de algo que estamos reportando. Vamos a ver. Requesting politely. Mm -hmm. I'd I'd like you to come to check my computer. Okay. It's well done, okay? It's a good job with this sentence. Even though we were talking about the printer, it is okay with the computer. Okay, then there we have one, two, three, four requests, okay? About some equipment at the workplaces. So now I'm going to uh, share a link with you and you go just to practice the grammar of uh, would like to, okay? I will stop sharing. And you go over there. Esta es la parte positiva o afirmativa, ¿verdad? Ahorita lo hemos visto nada más en afirmativo. Ahora, cuando nosotros lo hacemos en negativo, lo vimos ayer que decíamos que era wouldn't. ¿Se recuerdan? I wouldn't like. Pero cuando hacemos offerings es en preguntas, ¿ok? Would you, uh, what would you like to, ¿ok? What would you like to, y lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero ahorita quiero que vayamos a este link para practicar las afirmativas, ¿ok? Por ahí está.
¿Lo hacemos? Yes, please. Ok. ¿Ya hicieron la primera? Es un cuadrito y tiene unas cajitas donde ustedes le da en la flechita para elegir la opción. Ok, le da clic en la opción que elige y ya le va a tomar como respuesta. Ok. ¿Cómo sería la primera? Ay, no sé si es este. Ajá. Mayra. ¿Tuvo problemas? Sí, ahí. No, no, no. Sí puedo, sí puedo hacerlo, pero okay. ahí estoy leyendo a ver si está bien. Oh, ok. Luz. Teacher, the first Hello? one is we would like to have dinner. Excellent. Very good. What about the next one? The second one. Uh, we would like to um, make a pizza. Okay, good, David. Make a pizza. Mm -hmm. Number three. Uh, I would like to visit to a restaurant. To visit, are you sure? Go. To go. To to go. To. Correct, to go. Thank you, Patty. And the next Jane. one? Jane would like to see the film. Excellent, very good. Uh -huh. They would like to visit London. Okay, acordémonos de two. They would like to visit London. Okay. They would like to visit London. Excellent. Like to... Uh -huh. They would like to talk to you. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I would like to talk to you. Ha, cuando le dicen así el jefe a uno, mire, quiere hablar con usted un momentito. Oh, God. I would like... I would like to talk to you. Oh, God. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what haven't, have I done? Uh huh. Uh, what about the uh, <laughs> would like to see the film? Yes. Jane. Uh, uh huh. Uh, it is in watch. Uh, no, in this case, we are, this is British. This is British. Okay. So, yes, okay, okay. Uh -huh. we usually don't say film in American. We say movie, okay? So, mm -hmm. watch a movie, yeah? Uh -huh. uh, yes, but in British, it's more formal, and they say, they say, see the film, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, did you get your, your 100%? Everyone? Yeah. Yes. Okay, teacher. then clap everyone, clap. Now I'm clap. going to send another, okay? I'm going to send another porque quiero que practiquen eh, eh, como una plana, ¿verdad? El negativo, el negativo. 
cuando nosotros decimos yo no quiero, ¿ok? O ellos no quieren, pero de una manera muy polite, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar el negativo. This. Okay, it's finished. Okay, can you tell me number one? I will like to, I will like to see the film. Excellent. Number two. What about we, number two? Mm -hmm. uh, me, teacher, or? Yes, it is that? okay because I see that you're still working on it. We we wouldn't like to visit Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the number three? He wouldn't like to talk to the teacher. Okay. Is it correct, guys? I don't think so. Don't you think so? I think so. <laughs> I think so. It is okay, I think. Okay, now let's see the next one. They, they wouldn't, wouldn't like to have lunch. Excellent, Linda. The next one, we... We won't, wouldn't, wouldn't like to make breakfast. Excellent. And the last one. I wouldn't like to go to the doctor. To the doctor. Okay, great. Great. Aquí no tenemos que tener el miedo 
ok, cuando nos aparece to go to, to go to, or to visit to, hay dos to, ¿verdad? Entonces siempre nos da miedo a ver si no va el otro to, sí va, ok, porque uno tiene una función y el otro tiene otra función, ok, por ejemplo, I wouldn't like to go to the doctor, ok, I, uh, he wouldn't like to talk to the teacher. Ahí que no nos den miedo esos dos tú, ¿verdad? En, eh, que en medio queda el main verb, ¿ok? Do you have any question so uh, far? Do you have any question? Estos son, no. ok, estos son requests politely, ¿ok? This is Good. when we request something or for something politely muy educadamente, muy respetuosamente. Por lo tanto, es un lenguaje que usted puede usar con su jefe, ¿verdad? Con sus colegas, con eh, personas de otro departamento con quien usted no tiene mucha relación. Mañana vamos a ver que existen otras dos, otros dos verbos modales que se pueden usar en similares situaciones, ¿verdad? También para hacer requests y hacerlo de forma muy polite, ¿verdad? Pero eh, también podemos hacer, ofrecer, ¿verdad? Ofrecer, hacer algo por la otra persona, ¿ok? Entonces, para solo la última, como para ofrecer a otra persona algo, la frase es, what would you like to? ¿Ok? For example, si me habla por teléfono y usted quiere reportar algo, I, I, I'd like to report a problem. What would you like to report? Okay. Mi respuesta es, what would you like to report? What would you like to report? Ahí ya estoy ofreciendo mi ayuda, ¿verdad? Me estoy poniendo a la disposición para ayudar. Entonces, ahí en el chat les acabo de enviar. What would you like to report? Es una frase. What would you like to y el verbo que sigue es igual, en infinitivo, ¿verdad? No va en G, ni tampoco va eh, otro auxiliar, no va una S, nada, ¿verdad? Tal como es el infinitivo. Ok, people, uh, ahora es viernes. Por favor, dejen su vida la tarea que corresponde a este día, ¿ok? Uh, porque finalizamos semana. And... El puesto para ahora es para Pablo. Pablo está allí. Pablo, ¿se va a quedar a hacer alguna pregunta o cede su lugar a otra persona? Pablo. Ajá. Yo creo que hoy le tocaba salir hasta las 10. That is why. Ok, está ofreciendo eh, su espacio para otra persona. ¿Hay alguien más que quiera quedarse con la teacher para alguna pregunta, alguna práctica, para platicar con la teacher en inglés? ¿No? ¿Yes? No, teacher. Bueno, recuerden que me ofrezco, ¿verdad? Así que nos vemos entonces. Bueno, on Monday, on Monday, so... Everybody have a nice weekend. Goodbye and see you bye. on Monday. Bye. bye see you Monday. Bye. 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 B